All right. Hi. Welcome to the Author Showcase here at WowEO headquarters. Today I have Bob Heskey and Rachel Kerbs with us. Bob, we know you from the comic book space. You're one of our publishers at WowEO.com. And you've actually made a film which Rachel stars in. Can you guys tell us a little bit about it? No, you sure. Hi, I'm Rachel Kerbs. Um, I get to play Sarah in the movie Blessed that Bob wrote and produced. Um, it's an indie feature that is um, really the theme is about forgiveness and, and um, being happy with yourself and learning to come to terms with your past. Uh, to my character um, is in an unhappy marriage and she's having a difficult pregnancy and becomes overly curious about her new neighbor, this older man living across the street, and uh, that is played by uh, Rick Montgomery Jr. And they learn a lot about each other, and she learns to come to terms with some of uh, the things she's going through in the present and her past. Um, and it's a beautiful and troubling and uh, enlightening film, so I'm excited to be a part of it. Great, great. And then, Bob, do you have anything to say about that? Yeah, I think uh, Rachel encapsulated it really well. Um, really, at its core, it's an anti-suicide film with a really a, a message of self-forgiveness. So it's kind of unique. It's one of those indie films that really have, they're about something. It's important content. So it's, it's very unique, and I think we're just starting to get it into festivals, so I, we're, gonna, we're excited to see how it's going to resonate. Now, Bob, how did you go from writing comic books to writing screenplays? You know, actually, by writing comic books, it's like storyboarding a story anyways, because you go panel by panel with uh, the story. So it's kind of a visual medium, which is what script writing is as well. You kind of lean on the description, but then it's very visual. You show, don't tell. So actually writing my graphic novel and my indie comics really helped pave the way to do Blessed. Um, it, was, it, it was very kind of interactive. Writing a novel, I don't think I could do, but doing a, 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 a screenplay and, and writing a graphic novel, those two kind of go hand in hand for me. Hey, never, never say never. And we have a place to publish it if you if you did want to write a novel, just so you know. <laughs> um, so let's talk about every filmmaker's nemesis, which is funding. How did you guys deal with that? Okay. Um, yeah, you know what's interesting? We could do two parts. I'll go first and maybe Rachel second because she went through a similar thing. Um, for my film, it was uh, a lot of it was self-funded. I actually got a point in my life where I felt I needed to tell a story and get it out there, so a lot of it I self-funded. But I did have some investors. I got an entertainment lawyer and I set up an LLC. So I had some funding, but at the end most of it came from me. I will say right now at the end some finishing funds are coming from a great Kickstarter campaign that we're almost almost close to our goal at right now. And so Rachel, what about you just did a similar thing too, right? For your, your, uh, your web series, how did it work for you for the funding, the crowdfunding? Uh, yes, so we, um, I wrote and starred in a web series that I made. It's called Tequila Mockingbird, and we have four episodes. They're up on YouTube, and we, um, we use Kickstarter, and it was an amazing platform um, for creating your own work. Uh, it's a little bit, you know, crowded, um, no pun intended, um, but, yeah, it's, you have to really try to stand out, and, um, and honestly, you have to have it together. Like, people need to see why they should invest their time and money in your project versus the other thousands that are on the site. Um, and, and it's worked well for Blessed, it worked well for me, and I wouldn't have been able to create my, mo my own project without it, and Blessed wouldn't be able to go to as many festivals or reach out to as many opportunities as we have with Kickstarter's help. And everybody who donated, thank you so much. Well, Kickstarter is obviously a great tool. Um, this is probably more of a question for Bob. Bob, how do you feel the tools of the digital world have kind of also helped the publishing industry? You know, I just think it's opened up the world for the publishing industry. Just like in filmmaking, where now it's, it's you don't need to have a million dollar budget to make a movie. I made Blessed, it was originally 80,000, it's about 120,000 now, but a lot of people I know, friends have made films for like 15,000, because the technology is there, it really enables them, it's an enabler. If you have a story to tell, and it's a good one, the technology enables you. And that's the same thing with digital technology, it really opens the platform to everyone to get their message out, and to build their own following in many cases. I love that. So what are the next steps for the film, and are there any uh, plans to make it into a graphic novel, which you could put on wowio.com? <laughs> Yeah, it'd be great. That's, that's actually something I'm, I'm considering. Um, you know, what I'm doing right now is we're just, like I said, we have this Kickstarter campaign. Do you mind if I plug it real quickly? And, and Not at all. You heard all of my plugs. Okay, cool. <laughs> so, uh, 
You know, probably the easiest way to find it, there's probably less than a week left, it's uh, go to www.blessedthemovie.com. And our, our homepage for our website, you can see the trailer, which Rachel stars in, of course, as well as on the right-hand side, you'll see a link to our Kickstarter campaign. And you can, it's blessed, B-L-E-S-S-I-D, so blessedthemovie.com. And that's how you can get us over the top. We're almost there. And then, um, you know, what we're doing is we're just getting ready to submit to film festivals, we're doing kind of a three-pronged approach. We're submitting to film festivals, we're talking to distributors, and we're also looking at other channels, like, for example, the Education Market, or it's an anti-suicide film, so we'll probably approach some anti-suicide or suicide prevention associations and see if they want to make it available to their membership. Great. Well, I think that's amazing what you're doing. Not only is you're making a film, which is living the dream for a ton of people, but it's a great message as well. So I just want to thank you guys so much for coming and sharing this with us. And all of your links that you mentioned, Bob, will be on our site for all of our users to follow. And good luck. I mean, best of luck. It sounds like a great project. And I really wish you all the, all the best of luck. <laughs> thank you so much for having us. We really appreciate it. All right. Thank well, thanks. Thank you so much. Take care. Thank you. You guys have a great day. You too. Bye-bye.